Lent is a time of dying to self, dying to what is unproductive in our lives. We need to slow down our fast-paced living, take time to take stock of ourselves and where we are in our relationship with Jesus, who is willing to suffer and to die for us. Our first reading is a call to repentance, a metanoia, a transformative change of heart, a spiritual conversion. All the people are asked to return to the Lord and seek forgiveness for their sins and the practices of mortification, fasting, and refraining from selfish acts. They are to ask God to spare God's holy people from the punishment which they deserve from their sinfulness. And God relents from punishing the people. St. Paul, in his second letter, implores the Corinthians to be reconciled with God. He reminds them that now is the time, now is the day of salvation. In the gospel passage today, Jesus speaks of three signs of a change of heart, almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. He also warns that these penitential acts must not be done ostentatiously to show off but must be done privately so God is aware of your deeds. We are beginning the great penitential season of the church, Lent. Lent comes from the old English word, which means lengthening. It was referring to the lengthening of the daylight in the hours of the day, springtime. We are called to look from the deadness of winter to the new life of spring. To get to the new life, we must be willing to go through mortification, a certain dying to self. The reason for this mortification is because we are sinful people. We have not always had God as our focus. We need to acknowledge our sinfulness, our being a, away from God. We also need to ask God to help us to reorientate ourselves to being towards God. Today, as you all know, is Ash Wednesday, a day when we are marked with an ashen cross on our foreheads to remind us to be people who live by the cross. We are individuals who are but ashes in the overall picture, but persons who can make a difference if we align ourselves with the almighty and ever forgiving God. Ashes have been a sign of repentance for many years, a millennia. They signify our, our insignificance and our ultimate destiny without God. Returning to the dust of the earth as ashes from fires used to be spread on the land. With God, however, there's a chance for new life, a fuller life, an eternal life. We are called to look at our lives and see where we are headed in the ultimate view of the world. We need to look at our relationship with God and with others and see where we have sinned and what we must do to turn back towards God. And this whole process must be done not to impress with our acts of mortification. We must practice what the gospel calls the acts of mortification, of almsgiving, prayer, and fasting. Almsgiving shouldn't be more than just giving money. It should be giving of our time, of our talent, and of our treasure for furthering the gospel. Prayer is the way we relate to God. We are called to adore God. We must be contrite. We must be thankful. And lastly, we must be people of supplication, which means asking God for his help. Fasting is doing without. It's not just doing without food. It's emptying of ourselves of all that is blocking our, ourselves from focusing on our Lord. 
Lent is a special time in which we can dedicate ourselves to looking at who we are in God's sight and getting back on target. It is a time of dying with Christ, putting to death anything that is not helping me or you draw closer to God. It is a springtime of renewal, so we really will be able to celebrate the new life of the risen Lord on Easter.